New NG-80 fighter jet will be bigger, stealthier, and double the range of F-22. The NG-80 initiative is quite secretive. The F-22 and F-35 designs and blueprints are among the technologies that the U.S. military does not want to leak to China. To maintain air superiority and boost lethality, the U.S. Air Force is modernizing. China has been stealing F-22 secrets for a long time, according to James Anderson, the former acting Under Secretary of Defense for Policy. Technology from the F-22 Raptor and Joint Strike Fighter programs serves as the foundation for the J-20 Stealth Fighter. In 2007, data breaches happened at Lockheed Martin, the main subcontractor. China's military technology spy program included everything from sophisticated cyber attacks to traditional techniques like paying officials, academic researchers, and contractors in the U.S. with bribes. We know that the Air Force's sixth-generation stealth jet is airborne, but that's about all. As senior Air Force officers divulge little bits of knowledge about the jet, the largely classified or black program continues to be both motivating and enigmatic. According to Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall, it will be a member of a family of systems, which includes the ability to fly drones from the cockpit and carry out both manned and unmanned missions. Drones known as Combat Collaborative Aircraft, which will be piloted by the Next Generation Air Dominance Platform, will be controlled from the cockpit to test enemy air defenses, carry out forward observation, and fire weapons when given human commands. Though it is logical to assume that the sixth generation aircraft will likely be equipped with a new generation of computers and command and control to enable an aircraft to operate several drones at once. Air Force innovators have been working on equipping the F-22 with drone control capabilities for years. In light of this, the next generation air dominance platform is expected to outperform the F-22 in terms of drone control, manned unmanned teamwork, and autonomous operations. Not only can the NGAD aircraft lead or fly like a family, but they can also achieve speeds and stealth that might change the game. In what way might it be more covered than an F-22? If the aerial NGAD resembles current industry sixth generation designs, it might have a merged wing body design devoid of any type of vertical tails. Given that there would be no jutting features, curves, or sharp edges that could cause an opponent's radar to pick up a clear return signal, such a layout might be more stealthy than an F-22. It is possible for a blended wing body fuselage, similar to that of a bomber, to fly with a smaller radar signature than an F-22 if it lacks definable features that protrude in any way. Little to no information on NGAD is probably available in terms of coating and radar absorbent materials, but it makes sense to believe that new composites and blended materials would be a component of a faster, lighter, sixth-generation aircraft. Given that the F-22 has the highest thrust-to-weight ratio of any fighter aircraft in the world, this kind of capability would be highly significant to thrust-to-weight ratio. What if propulsion, vectoring, and engine power were integrated into a significantly lighter fuselage of a sixth-generation platform, with F-22-like or better performance? Theoretically, this might lead to the development of a stealth aircraft with a thrust-to-weight ratio significantly higher than that of an F-22. Regarding speed, what about it? The F-22, with its potential to reach Mach 2.35 and its super cruise capability, which allows it to fly at higher speeds without using an afterburner, is considered one of the world's fastest and most superior air domination platforms. Not only does the F-22 execute ground attack close air support, but it also uses cutting edge sensors and networking to function as an aerial quarterback, as explained by Air Force pilots and weapons developers, while being predominantly considered an air dominance, air to air fighter. Even though the F-22 may not have the same level of sensory and computing power as an F-35, it can now communicate two-way with many other fourth-generation aircraft, in addition to F-35s. In terms of computing, NGAD is probably going to be designed with a new generation of AI-enabled computing high-speed processing and data analysis. Even if an F-22 can still undergo computer updates and be made more capable of operating unmanned or autonomously, a completely new platform 
might offer a chance to completely rethink functionality, sensing an AI-enabled flight. The F-22 and NGAD sixth-generation stealth fighters differ most significantly in areas that are not readily apparent to the naked eye, including as computer, sensing, and artificial intelligence AI. Driven operations, experts have conjectured about smart skins, which are sophisticated sensors integrated into the airplane's fuselage. The aircraft will probably utilize a conformal antenna or possibly an unidentified means of exchanging data while in flight. More drones could be controlled from a single monitor, in-flight weapon guidance adjustments could be made, and otherwise, disparate pools of incoming sensor data could be connected by new generations of computing, especially if AI is involved or if these systems are working closely with AI-enabled systems. This brings us to the subject of armaments which is arguably the most enigmatic but significant area of distinction between the F-22 and 6th Gen. While software updates like 3.2 bits have significantly expanded the F-22's armament capacity, there is a fleet-wide endeavor to significantly enhance the AIM-9X and AM-100 and 20D's performance characteristics. These F-22 launched weapons were given improved range, survivability, lethality, and targeting precision guidance through software and open architecture computing enhancements. Nonetheless, as it is being constructed as a completely new platform, the sixth-generation NGAD aircraft is probably being created with the ability to carry weapons that are not yet in existence. The NGAD's technical architecture is probably going to be backward compatible, which means it will be able to fire current weapons while still having the capacity to fire brand new weapons as they become available. The NGAD will probably be constructed with a far improved capacity to fly with movable sources of electrical power. Therefore, lasers will probably play a significant role in the equation as well. The Air Force is rapidly approaching the reality of equipping fighter jets with laser weapons. The F-22 and F-35 will undoubtedly be equipped with laser weapons. Nevertheless, there are a lot of difficulties with this because lasers need a lot of expeditionary mobile power, which means a bigger, heavier footprint. However, a sixth generation could be developed with significantly better capabilities to fly with high electrical power in much smaller form factors, allowing a fighter jet to fly and operate at a level never before possible with high power, high density, scalable laser weapons far beyond what the current fifth generation is capable of. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.